Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 2. As you can see, things are a little different. Playing the GameCube version, the Wii version just kept crashing on me for whatever reason, so I dug out my copy of the GameCube. We're gonna awaken our wood once again. Day four, making great progress. If you feel like this Let's Play is making great progress for your life, consider liking the video, commenting down below if you want. Hit me up with a subscription so you can follow all the fun things. You can use that big YouTube ding dong. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead, unleash the perps, grab the reds. You only have a maximum of 70, red, 25, purple. I mean, whatever configuration you want that adds up to 95. Because the gosh dang blues are being selfish. But that's okay. We'll handle them when we come to it. So instead of heading left last time, we're gonna go to the right this time. Switch to our purples, which is made infinitely easier now that I'm using a GameCube controller. Can mash the buttons quicker too, which is very convenient. Use the C stick to boop a doop a doop a doop. You don't have to hit down on the D-pad anymore on the Wiimote. It's very awkward and not very easy to do. Also, there's a cave up there, interesting. There's a black hole of oblivion, some purple poo gas, and another dungeon. Hmm. I wonder what this could have in store for us today. So the radar is gonna tell us that if you ever get stuck down below, you can have it come and rescue you while you're looking for treasures. But we don't need to have any sort of rescuing done. We're gonna head right on into the white flower garden. As you can see, we're not saving anymore, so don't worry about that. But the white flower garden is similar to another place we've already been, the purple flower garden where we met our purple Pikmin buddies. So maybe we'll find some more friends today, viewers. What do you think? First things first though, well, plenty of boop a doop a doop a doopin'. Yes, it's, it's a lot nicer to be able to use the GameCube controller. It's more comfortable in my hands. Using the Wiimote and the Nunchuck to play this game um, is not fun. I know that it's like, oh, it's Wii Play controls and it's brand new and... No, they didn't think it through all the way. It's really cumbersome and awkward and I hate it. And I hate them for it. No, I don't. But here is today's treasure. We're gonna see what this is in a moment. Have our Pikmin carry it. And as you can hear, the Love Tester, our treasure tracker, is losing its mind. We have a nice amount of Pikmin. It's losing its mind anytime that we get near this treasure. And that's one of the downsides to having collected that in the game. It's canon, you have to get it. That's one of the downsides is anytime that you're near anything that you can see, an above ground treasure, a below ground treasure that is visible, you're gonna be hearing it. It's gonna let you know. It's gonna go bing bong the entire time. To let you know, first off, that we have discovered an alien billboard. This is some Kiwi brand shoe polish. For those of you who don't know what shoe polish is, it's polish for your shoes. So there you go. Here at Dean Mike Industries, we pride ourselves on helping people with obvious things. I'm not sure why they chose the Kiwi for their mascot of their branding for shoe polish, but a Kiwi is a flightless bird from New Zealand next to Australia. Love me some Australia and New Zealand. If you are a Kiwi, say hello in the comments. Would love to talk to you. I like you if you like me. How's that sound? All right, so floor two, here we go. We're doing well. Right away, we can already see a treasure and a couple of baddies. Gonna get reacquainted with a familiar foe here right away. This is the Fiery Blowhog, introduced in Pikmin 1. Seems pretty daunting, but uh, nothing that a few reds can't take out. It's a good introductory enemy. There is a fiery version, there is a watery version. They're just gonna spew all over, shoot their goo on us. In this case, it's fire. Good for us. Not for other Pikmin, though. Only let your reds take it out. Any other Pikmin's gonna get set on fire, and that's really annoying to have to deal with. We're gonna carry the corpse. 
This Let's Play is a lot of fun. I am holding my breath, though, as I record it, just because of how much trouble I've had to go through just to make it work. So hopefully you're all enjoying it. It has been a hassle to get my recording software and the game software to play nice together. It has petrified my heart. My anxiety is at an all-time high, viewers. I'm losing my gosh dang mind. We're gonna go ahead and grab this treasure. We're gonna go ahead and grab this treasure. Come on, guys, let's go. <laughs> A little stuck there. This should be the final one of the floor. The treasure tracker is all about it. This is Dr. Pepper. It is good for life. It's kind of wild to think about that. There's a lot of commodities that we use in our day-to-day -day lives that were invented like more than 100 years ago. And in their current iterations are sometimes nothing like the original versions that were made eons ago. That's a little fascinating to me. All right, floor three, definitely not saving. I refuse. Just gonna power on through. Sub-level three, making good time here today. Maybe we're gonna meet some new friends. Seems kind of spooky. You'll notice that every floor is randomly generated. So you can play this a million times. The enemies and the treasures will be randomly generated. Sometimes uh, in familiar spots, but it, the game will just mix it up to keep it fresh, which I think is fun. I didn't know that until recently. What I did know is that we are about to make some new buddies. Here we go. Yes, some mysterious flower buds underground. Oh, and the game randomly changing <laughs> aspect ratios on us. That was fun. Thanks, game, for doing that right in the middle of a uh, cutscene. But yes, first things first, switch to your reds. Actually, you know what? I want to be careful here. I don't want to mess this up. So switch to your reds. In similar fashion to what we did with the purples last time, we've got three candy pop buds, white candy pop buds. Throw your five reds in there. I'm just mashing the button, not counting, because I didn't have time to come here to play school. There it is. And get yourself the second and last kind of new Pikmin in this game. Let's meet our new friends. Oh. With their bright red eyes, stinky poo gas breath. The smallest variety of Pikmin, the fastest. The white pick when I almost said pink. This game just loves messing up these cutscenes. That's okay. So, white Pikmin, obviously new to this game. New to Captain Olimar and Pikmin 2. Yes. So we'll get into the ins and outs of what white Pikmin can do in depth over time. But for now, we'll just let their uh, their debut be a little more mysterious. So there you go, you can get 15 white Pikmin right away, which is very convenient. You're gonna see, as you play, white Pikmin in the same vein as purple Pikmin, is you're gonna wanna take care of them. You're gonna want to make sure that you don't, uh, you're not too risky with them, you're not too willy-nilly. They're not as expendable. And here is one of the first things that you'll learn that white Pikmin are good for. What are you good for? So there are buried treasures underground. The white Pikmin apparently can see them, I don't know. With their red eyes. This is kind of offensive, but... Should be able to... Slowly have them boop a doop a doop a doop around this. There you go. This strange roll of something. Mm. This Amata. A nice large roll of Amata. We love that. There they go. And you'll have to excuse the game when it does the cutscenes. Playing the GameCube version, I'm trying to force it to be widescreen and it does not like that. So just be, just bear with me, viewers, as you always do. So there you go. We've got, <laughs> come on now. So there you go. The white Pikmin have successfully dug up the roll. That, my friends, is some duct tape. For those of you who don't know what that is, duct tape, not duck, like the quack quack. You use it for anything you want, that you want to stick together, but it can primarily be used to seal ducts. 
like things you'd use for like air conditioning other engineering -y things I don't know much about it because I'm not one but I kind of have a basic understanding so there you go you can use a bunch of your Pikmin there to carry it back we're gonna head towards the exit and we'll go grab those lads and ladies there in a moment they can do the dirty work for us and we will just camp out near entrance to floor number three there you go oh this is worth a lot it's not okay great the super stick textile this is gamma tape according to the game who doesn't love some good duct tape huh it's gotten me through some pretty messy times in my life holding stuff together in a pinch always useful let's go grab the rest of the squad squad goals they're way up here. This is awesome. I love this. But yes, being acquainted with white Pikmin is awesome. They're a lot of fun to use. And because we had enough time in the day, we got down here pretty fast. We'll be able to go and use them and their special powers to open up more of the map. So we'll accomplish all of that before we're done today. And floor four. And away we go. Okay. These underground caverns are nice because they don't require you to... Um, they don't require you to pass time above ground. I almost said pass gas. They don't require you to pass gas. Speaking of passing gas, here's your first introduction to poison poo gas spewers. So first off, get your whites organized here. Send your boys out there to take that out. This is kind of their domain. They're immune to poison. So we'll go ahead and use them to clear a pathway. There's gonna be certain caves in the future that are just going to throw everything at you. So just kind of get acquainted with the, the various traps and trials they're gonna throw at you. Not too bad for now. Oop, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> That's horrible. When the game has you organized in trying to throw your Pikmin, you need to give it a hot second before it'll actually give you the right color. Sometimes I get a little ahead of myself. I'm not patient enough. Probably should surprise nobody. That's okay. But there's a treasure behind this poo spout. Very nice. We hate, there's just so much goo in this game and gas and weed. Okay, did not give them enough friends. Classic D-Mike move. All right, so I don't know if there's enemies up here. The entrance, or I, I mean, I guess it, exit entrance, I guess, it just really depends upon how you wanna frame it, is blocked by some two gas, so we'll use those white Pikmin to block the way. And treasure number one, secured. This is some Chapstick brand survival ointment. I believe Chapstick is like the name brand for it though. You can just have a, uh, like a Chapstick is a, uh, like a lip balm. I think that's just kind of like the actual item's name in the same way that um, things like, uh, like a Xerox machine for copying or a dumpster, a jacuzzi. All of those things are um, name brand. They're not the actual Name of the thing that they become synonymous with it. So, uh, for some reason, a poisonous mushroom, Mario, is the prize. I also don't know what the point is of having this area back here is besides just tripping you up. It doesn't lead to anything. Very strange. Okay, that's the way we came. Where are we going? What? Right, let's grab these guys. Make sure we got the whole squad here. We had the. Where are the, uh... It's the problem with playing this game and not being familiar with anything is I get lost easily. Cause I'm a ding dong. All right. So we had, hold on, where am I? All right, I was heading the right way. I just got a little distracted by this tree stump. Always stumped me. All right, I think this is the final floor. Heading down. No, we ain't saving. Is this the final floor? I don't normally tell us. 
I don't think that there are usually more than five, at least in the introductory caverns. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Game kind of sped up there a little bit. All right. So I'm presuming that there's going to be enemies on this floor. Something nasty around. I don't trust the game here. Being very, very cautious. Okay. You don't want to lose any of your... Oh. Yeah, that looks horrible. Whatever this is. That's in there. We're going to avoid that for a moment. I've got a feeling that's probably a mini boss if I had to guess. You can skip it if you want, but you're going to miss out on treasure. So you know what? I'm going to park everybody besides the reds because the reds are expendable, unfortunately, for them. Sorry, guys. Not in our hearts, but, you know, in a big way they are. Cannot see. <laughs> Camera is not co co cooperating. My voice and my brain also not open. Oh, there's a white in there. Right there. Just want the reds for this one. They're the ones that are good fighters after all, and we can grow more reds easily. We don't have as much luck with the, uh, the other variety. So go ahead and mosey on in here. Let's see what this is about. Let's do one. Just gonna walk right over top of it. Oh no! It is a, I don't even remember what these guys are called. Oh, okay, well he already ate one of our reds, perfect. We have fought one of these guys in uh, Pikmin 3. It's a bit of a butt. But you gotta hit him in its head. Do some damages to it. Oh, it's eating our reds, that's okay. We'll make more of them. Sorry, reds. Not to make you expendable or anything. But yeah, with this type of a boss fight, um, you gotta attack its head. I don't know why I tried to boop a doop a doop. You can't do that. You gotta attack its head. Throw your Pikmin right at its face. That's how you do all your damages. It's not really that threatening. I could have two cycled it if I wasn't stupid, but you know, you're asking a lot from me, viewers. All right, give me a break here. And it gives us that terrifying shriek <laughs> as we decapitate it. Oh goodness. I was hoping they would do a close-up shot of its the, the disembodied head. Okay, that freakish half bird half serpent, yes. And apparently it ate a glove. An of glove. I don't know. I don't know what it was doing. But yeah, use the remainder of the Pikmin you've got. Hopefully we have enough to carry. Guys, what are we doing here? <laughs> are we stuck on something? I was gonna say there are there is more than 15 of you to carry this glove. Come on. Are they stuck on something? I don't understand. What are you doing? Guys, what in the good gosh dang are you doing? Do I have to like push you into it? Okay. That was very strange. I've never seen that. Oh, viewers, this is the joy of recording a Let's Play with everything that doesn't work. It's amazing. Okay. So we do have some nectar eggs, which some of these might be um, spicy spray eggs as well, I don't know. This is a good opportunity to flower up your whites if you haven't. I mean, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have actually been able to until this point, so I don't know why I said that. Alright. So everybody is taking care of business here. Conveniently. The Oh, we only lost four? That's pretty good. That's just because I'm stupid and I didn't approach the fight the right way. But there we go. Treasure. Birdhead achieved the five-man knapsack. We love a nice sack. Very good. <laughs> okay. The knapsack is complete. Very good. So, you can hold X to take a nap. I believe your Pikmin will carry you around. I don't know if that's actually, like, useful for anything besides just maybe an aesthetic thing, like a little Easter egg. It's kind of fun just to watch them slowly carry your uh, your captain around. Let's put that in, in the present. Okay, in the present, into motion. But yeah, they'll carry them back to the, um, to the ship or to the radar, depending upon if you're above or below ground. So let's get the heck out of here. Holy smokes, what a day. And watch the game just brutalize these, uh, <laughs> these cutscenes. I'm not speeding this up, it's doing it all on its own, so... You know, it's always fun when you have copies of games that, uh, just don't work. I don't know why I said save, we're not doing that. I broke my own rules. You just can't- this is just why we can't have nice things, viewers. 
we get dumped right in front of the ship at first. All right. So we basically have the entire day um, that's left. So we don't really need um, don't really need reds right now. Going the wrong direction. Put the reds away. We'll put the purples away too, but we'll keep them with us for a moment. It's convenient to be able to have um, your dir your directives happen early when you play. You can get stuff done early in the day, and you don't have to worry about it. Go into ground and still have plenty of time. But first things first, we're gonna separate the squad here. Just use the whites, obviously. And here you go. You can boop a doop a doop a doop the poison. Wish we had more of this. Unfortunately, we don't, but. It's good because once we get the uh, the wall knocked down, we can have the purples come and carry what's back behind there. Another treasure, as you can see right over there. Looks like another half of something we might already have. So we'll spend that time doing that. You know what actually I could do is, uh, while we're waiting, I'll send Louie back. We can grow and replenish some of the reds that we disastrously lost in that incredible battle. All four of them. There just isn't really a ton you can do. I mean, that's the way this game is structured. You get to a certain point where certain challenges will present themselves, and once you do that for the day, it's kind of it, which is okay. You don't want to be overwhelmed. You can try to do a ton every time you play if you want and maximize your gains, but, you know. I'm just taking my time, viewers. I'm just having a good heckin' time here. Don't judge me. Oh, this guy. <laughs> this guy's hanging on by a thread. We'll murder him, put him out of his misery. Okay, very good, very good. All right, and then we have one more pellet posy. Take that out. Two more pellet posies. I was just kidding. Just making sure you're counting, viewers. Making sure you're doing good math. And we'll see, are the whites done yet? No, they are not. <laughs> Apparently 15 whites is going to take quite a moment, so we'll continue to faff around. Gives you a lot of, uh, a lot of replacements though. I think we've already grown like, I don't know, 10, 12? That's good. Plenty. I could have done a no-death run, but I don't really care about that enough. And that would actually require me to put in a lot of effort. And, uh, oof. Viewers, do we not have that? Okay, but we do have missing Pikmin. Guys, what are we doing over here? We're slacking. In the meantime, this is not what I meant. You guys can take care of that for me, though. Thank you. In the meantime, we will get some spicy sprays going. You can do multitasking. Not really a lot that I need these for, but I didn't have the ability to put as much time into it when I was... Um, doing the other recordings, so, or at least attempts at recordings, we'll say that. Can we kill these things? Oh yeah, we can. Well, we can attempt to. Make sure your Pikmin grab the berries, though, when they knock them off the stems. If they don't, the berries will just kind of explode into nothing and you will have no rewards. You don't want that. All right. So, the white Pikmin are done. We can go back and have the white Pikmin take care of the Stinky poo gas next to this area, which we were at before. Ignore the hole of oblivion. Don't want to fall into that. And have it take out this, which is very nice. We can go back though, conveniently. And now that we have that wall taken down, we can use our perps. We should have enough to I don't know if there's an enemy up here. <laughs> I think it is because it's got eyes. I don't want to lose my purples though, so I'm going to be careful here. Just do one and then whistle it back. Okay, come back. Come back. Come back. I don't know if it'll follow me over here and, and fall down. Oh, there it goes. The purples are stunning it, which is very good. And they're good fighters, so... No harm, no foul. And we do have the second half of the first treasure that we met 
We got the pi <laughs> we met a treasure. We got the purple Pikmin. So there you go. In the Valley of Repose. Down in the Emergence Cave. Or the nope, that's not it. Is that where it was? No. Maybe that's where I don't know. Anyway, you can use your purples to carry this back to the uh, the onion and the ship. I'm just losing my mind right now, viewers. This is incredible. We'll split the squad up and use some of them to carry this guy. I actually thought I was going to lose the... Uh... You have enough. What are you doing? Do you need extra help? Do you get by with a little help from your friend? Are you stuck? What are you doing here? <laughs> the collision of the game is just making it really confused. Come on. We'll have plenty of time to do this. I don't know if I'm helping or not by pushing it. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm making it worse. I don't know. Let's go check on the, uh, check on the reds here. We got more time to get bellies. Climb those big shafts for me, guys. Thank you. you kill this guy. These caterpillar things are the ones that are going to try to steal your berries, so you don't want that, obviously. Yeah, this is a uh, pretty pro multitasking. If you've ever played Pikmin 2, this is kind of like the ultimate way to play it. Kind of demonstrating that here at D-Mike Industries. Uh, we just like to focus on PBs and showing people how incredible we are at gaming, so. Just make sure your Pikmin grab the berries off the ground. <laughs> I threw this Pikmin right at that berry and it was like, what do I do over here? Which, you know, in a normal setting, I might be upset. But then my reality is that that's just how I always approach things. Like that's how my brain works, so. It's okay, we'll allow it. All right, so hopefully our white Pikmin are done. I'm trying not to let these, oh boy. I'm trying not to let these episodes drag on too long. But I want to get a lot of work done. Ugh. Red Pikmin, hello. Berries, what are we doing here? We got two sprays though, so that should be good. If you noticed, on the other side of the area where the first poison poo gas was located, there is a bridge that we can start to work on, which is great. It's back here. You gotta be careful with it though, because I believe there's water on the other side of it. There is. So, just be mindful of who you send at it. We don't have blue Pikmin yet to save ourselves. Oh my goodness. Guys, it's right in front of you. How much, how much assistance do you need? Oh, these guys are really moving it. Okay. I guess it would have made sense to probably have uh, done this first before I had them uh, take the the purples, take the slowest of my Pikmin to take the treasure all the way around. Holy smokes, I am not using my brain. That's okay. Who needs it? We only use ten percent of our brain anyway, right, viewers? That's a myth. Okay. Let's go check on the. Uh... Oh my goodness, purples. Reds, what are we doing, guys? Come on, let's get it going. Speed it up. Treasure Tracker is losing its mind. Okay, so that should help. Triple the amount of Pikmin to clear that, clear, clear that out. I cannot, to save my life, I cannot talk today. All right, I don't think there's anything back here that is of note yet. There's a puzzle. It's a weight puzzle, which it'll have to wait. <laughs> Got him. We'll come back for it. That's okay. And I do believe that there is a an, an, an underground treasure in the starting area that we can grab. We need to get away from the... We need to get away from that treasure because it's not anything. But yeah, I believe it's over here. In one of these pots, maybe? Yeah, it's it's getting up. It's up there. So, oh, whoa, whoa, guys, whoa! All right, well, the white Pikmin want to try to murder the glint beetle. You have recovered another treasure, the other half of the of the globe, the southern hemisphere, the geographic projection. All right, hidden microchip. There's a chip shortage, everybody. All right, so this will open up more of the map, obviously. It's the survey chart. Very good. Okay. And we've recovered 30% of the debt. We are rocking and rolling here. We're gonna do, uh... I wanna say it's in here? 
Switch to your whites. Have them dig this up. This will be the last thing we do for the day. I don't know what it exact. Oh, that looks a little inappropriate. Ooh. But we will send Olimar out to make sure that everybody else is under the hood. Should be. I think there's like one. Let's check the map real quick. I don't. Nobody gets left behind. Oh, I left. There's gonna be a red back there. Oh no. We can go grab them real quick. Louis will stay with the whites as they take that interesting new treasure. So we're headed to the Hole of Beasts, which was this way. One of our Pikmin got stuck. Something very bulbous. Another prize? The Pilgrim Bulb. I don't really know why it's called that. It's very strange. It's one of the best things about this game, though, is it has the... Oh, wait, I said Hole of Beasts, didn't I? That's what I said, and I went the wrong way. Who needs directions, viewers, huh? The one downside of this game is there's no safety circle. So, is that where I'm at? Yeah, where's the, wait. Oh, it's this guy, okay. You little rascal. But Louis should have the other 15 Pikmin hanging out at the ship. That's a pretty successful day. We made some new friends. Got some treasures. All in all, a good day, viewers. A successful recording. So we can go ahead and just uh, go to the menu here. Go to the, okay, maybe not. My buttons also don't wanna work on my controller, so maybe I should pump the brakes on the successful recording part. I don't wanna to get too ahead of myself. You can't have everything work the way that you want it to, Dean Mike. That's not just, that's just not how the world works. Oof. This is just a comedy of errors, but we made it to the end of the day. We were successful. I'm very excited now to show you what the power of the white Pikmin can do. Pretty great. They're fun to use. You don't get a ton of them though, in the same way that you don't get purple, so just be mindful of that. And they also go into the ship, so you can put them back. You're gonna have to switch between purple and white, just like this. Toss them back into the into the ship with the radar and be done with it. That's pretty much just it. That's all you gotta do. And of course, you can put your reds back as well. Let them go hang out. Bye-bye, everybody. I want to leave Louie out in uh, the wilderness to fend for himself. There you go. Can I try one more time to get this menu to work? There we go. I just have to hit the button really hard. I guess my, my buttons are sticky. Yes. Okay. Oof. We'll skip the cutscene. We don't need it. But we will blast off into outer space for a successful day four. Made a lot of progress today. Probably not as much, oh my goodness. Probably not as much as I would have liked to, but you know, you take the good with the bad. There's all of our uh, treasures that <laughs> speed up past us. Oh, this game, I tell you what. The GameCube was a mysterious thing. We didn't lose that many. I mean, how many have we, yeah. I mean, so far only five, just reds. That's pretty darn good. So here we go. Message from El Presidente. Oliver, good work so far. I hereby promote you to perennial manager. Press X to divide up work and Y to delegate more of your subordinate leader. Hope all goes smoothly. We have been promoted to middle manager. What a, uh, what a gift. So there you go. That's a successful day four. And next time, viewers, we will take on day five. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Dean Mike. This has been Pikmin 2. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.